hello. Um, I will be today. I will be going over assessing caloric intake, um, IV and PO, um, the what you would do for a patient in a nutritional assessment, and also um, intake and output. Um, so um, when you are thinking about um, caloric intake and output, um, one thing to keep in, in mind is if you are um, if you are going over um, like um, like if, if you if they have a um, an IV or they have like a feeding tube, you want to make sure that you look at the measurements on that and that you are counting um, the calories for that. Um, eat just because um, you know they're not physically eating, that is still calories that is going into that are going into their body. So that is definitely something that you want to measure. Um, also, what we were given in class for this is like a, um, a piece of paper that has like the eating over three days. So if my um, patient here um, ate, um, you know, like uh, uh, eggs, um, bacon, um, and uh, a glass of apple juice for breakfast, I'm going to make sure to write that down and keep track and keep track of the calories um, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, you know, if he, anything that he, um, put in his mouth that, you know, has, that is able to be counted in calories, um, I am going to count all of those. Usually that is something that will then be, um, gone over by a dietitian. Um, so, oops, yeah, lighting. Um, yeah, so that will be something that is gone over by a dietitian. So that is definitely, um, something that you, um, that you want to um, want to uh, keep keep good track of and make sure that you create that you um, put everything that they eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. A lot of the time, if the hospital is providing the food, it may be a little bit easier because they probably already have those um, calories at the hospital. Um, so, with a nutritional assessment. Um, you're first going to look at your patient. Um, you're just going to look at their appearance. Are they alert? Are they responsive? Um, you're going to want to check out their, their vitality. Um, are they very sleepy? Or do they have energy? Or are they just kind of like, you know, laying and, um, and very tired? You're going to want to, of course, look at the weight um, because their weight can, could tell you a lot. You could, um, you know, look at, say, their BMI and see that they, um, you know, that it's really, really low, um, do things like, do they have um, a history of eating disorders? Like that is something that you are gonna wanna look at as well. You're going to wanna look at their eyes, um, you know, if they're bright and clear, if they're, if they're moist, um, you're gonna wanna look at their teeth. Are they um, in good shape? Their lips, are they pink? Um, and like, are they moist? Their gums, are they firm and pink? Their glands, um, you would definitely want to like feel their glands and make sure that they aren't swollen. You're going to want to check their skin and make sure that their skin um, is in good shape. That it, you're going to want to look at the color of their skin, because we did learn um, that the hair, skin, and nails assessment um, previous could show us a lot of things. So um, you know, are their nails are they pink? Um, are they firm? Are they um, you know like is there? any abnormalities, um, you're gonna wanna look at their skeleton, do they have good posture, um, and you know, their muscles, are they really weak? Um, you're gonna wanna make, check out, is their, is their um, abdomen flat? Um, do they have like normal reflexes? Um, their GI system, you're gonna wanna make sure to, um, that you can't palpate any, um, any organs, um, and their, their stomach generally should be flat. Um, and then, um, and then with the BMI, that is going to um, give you a ratio of their weight in um, kilograms to their height in, um, in meters. And that, what that tells you is, um, you know, if, like, um, it indicates their total body fat stores, and that can help um, you estimate their risk of, um, of many diseases because um, a lot of the time, you know, like with obesity, um, like certain things like high blood pressure may be more common and diabetes. So looking at their BMI can actually um, tell you a lot. So um, now with intake and output, um, that um, would include like um, their urine, diarrhea, wound drainage, um, sweating, any fluid loss, um, any like water vapor loss, like they, they are um, things even that you wouldn't think of when you're considering intake, which is things that they um, drank and output is just anything that they voided. Um, you are going to want to record those results. Um, a lot of 
of the time um, it will have like a measure if it's a urinal that usually will have a measurement on it too and when you look at that um, you are going to want to make sure that you um, are looking at it at eye level so if it's on the table you might have to um, you know get down when you look at it um, and as you're doing this as always you have to look at the color clarity and um, odor and um, and when you're done, you are definitely going to want to, um, to clean these out. Um, normally, the intake and output should be um, pretty close. So if it's not, that is definitely something that you are going to want to report. Um, in class, we learned that, um, that um, with, if there's ice, you're going to record that as half. Um, and um, with like, and you're also going to even include like jello, popsicles, um, sorbets. And, um, and also um, anything from like your GI tube, you're gonna wanna make sure that you include that as well. So with intake and output, you definitely have to think outside the box a little bit, um, but, um, but you always do wanna make sure that you are measuring properly and that, um, and like sometimes you may, um, like if you ever need to, to dump it in to onto the graduated cylinder to measure, you wanna make sure that you, um, that you don't spill anything. Um, you wanna be very careful when doing that. And always, um, our professor taught us never to like leave it unclean. You always wanna disinfect that, dry it out for the next person because that can just be kind of gross for the next person who comes in to measure. Thank you.